my channel. My whole goal here is to help you build a wardrobe in a style that you love. So you look beautiful, you feel confident every single day, every single day. So today's going to be kind of a different video, hopefully one that you will find fun. It occurred to me that I mention and I recommend a lot of things on this channel and that sometimes they can get lost in the overall context of the video, like when I'm diving into um, teaching about something specific for your wardrobe or for accessorizing or for whatever. And I thought, you know, it might be fun to just recap some of the things that I've tried that I really, really love. So I try a lot of different things. I try a lot of beauty products. I try a lot of beauty products. That was my first love. Um, I try a lot of clothes. I try accessories, jewelry brands, shoes, shoes. And then there are things that, you know, that I, I really like and, and try. And, and then there are things that I end up using and they become go-tos and they become favorites of mine. Things that I just reach for over and over and over again. I thought, I want to share those things with you guys because maybe one of these will be a problem solver for you. Maybe one of these will check a box that you've been looking for um, and be helpful in some way. So I'm excited to share this list. It's kind of comprehensive, but it's all over the place. So I'm going to get started right away. Okay, first of all, you know, I, I am a tea drinker. I'm not a coffee drinker. I want to know in the comments if you're a tea or a coffee drinker. I have always liked Twining's English breakfast tea. That is my go-to. I drink tea all day long, hot tea with milk and a little bit of agave. Um, that's my go-to. I drink it British style, the way I grew up drinking it in a tall glass. I want to know again, tea or coffee and what kind of tea if you're a tea drinker. So I do not have grown up taste. I do not like most alcoholic beverages and I do not like coffee. Um, but I love my tea and that's pretty much what I drink instead of water most of the time and on a really good day maybe I'll have a shortbread cookie with that so that was my one little personal uh, preference I, I'm a tea drinker and not a coffee drinker now let's get into the like the fun accessories and things okay so shoes are my thing I'm obsessed with shoes you know what some women collect jewelry some women collect bags I collect shoes I love 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 shoes and so I'm really I feel I've, I've been so blessed to work with some shoe brands that I really really love and I can't wait to show you my favorites from some of those shoe brands now the first is Viscata Viscata is um, a Spanish espadrille brand I'm gonna hold these up these are my newest from Viscata they're suede they're suede so I can wear them in fallish like maybe not when it's torrential like it is right now, but I can wear these in fall. Viscata espadrilles are handmade in Spain. They are super, super comfortable. I took a pair on my trip to Europe with me. I wear their espadrilles all the time. My black espadrilles, my cream, um, even the, like the, the really the quite high ones with the uh, the ribbons that go around the ankle, that's my favorite style. They, they are super, super comfortable and very, very well made. And these are brand new to my collection and I am so excited to try them. So suede espadrilles can kind of transition into fall and I'm very, very excited to try that. Okay, the next shoe I wanna talk about, uh, another brand I work with, I'm gonna pop up codes when I do have codes for you guys. This shoe brand, um, I have like dog fur on these, but this is Vivaya. Vivaya makes comfortable, breathable shoes that mold to your feet. They work for a variety of shoe widths, or uh, foot widths and sizes. Because of their moldability, their stretchability, they really do mold to your feet and they're so, so comfortable. So they have, these are not walking shoes, but they do have walking shoes um, and they've introduced several even more high comfort styles. Um, but their regular shoes are just great running around comfortable everyday shoes these are possibly my favorite i did take these on the trip to europe with me and i find them so so comfortable you can tell i mean i walked all over europe in these they are they look like they're brand new they look like they're i mean they're in excellent shape really really comfortable really breathable these are washable you can get a mesh bag and, and stick them in a mesh bag and just wash them which is just ingenious like especially if you're getting a lighter color i just love them i haven't felt the need to wash these yet like they have not gotten that dirty but i absolutely love them they even have waterproof versions my new favorite boots are from vavaya the regina pro i'll pop up a picture here they are so so comfortable they've got a square toe so there's a lot of wiggle room for your toes you've got a really cool red heel and they're just they've just become my favorite boots okay more shoes I was so excited about these. I have featured Veronica Beard clogs on my channel a, a couple of times in the last month or so in ref reference to fall trends. And then I found them 
at Marshalls, at Marshalls. These are the current, they are um, on um, Bloomingdale's right now for $400. I got them for considerably less, but let me tell you, if I went, went into Bloomingdale's and I tried these on, they would be coming home with me. They are so, so, so comfortable. So comfortable. Plus they give me a lift. It's a heel without it feeling really heely. Um, it works great with all the wide leg jeans and wide leg pants that are in style right now. I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. I love them so much. All of these items are going to be linked in order of um, appearance on this video. So I'll, I'll link them all below for you. Another pair of shoes because, you know, I can't get over the shoes. Sarah Flint. This is the original company that I worked with when I first started my YouTube channel. I love them. I recommend them to my clients. My clients use them all the time. These are, believe it or not, a comfort pump. So they have all sorts of comfort technology built into these shoes. They're handmade in Italy. They are beautiful and very, very high quality. And they're definitely a premium price. But for a classic style, I feel like you cannot beat them. This is the Perfect Pump 100. So it's a 100 millimeter heel. This is the highest heel. They also have an 85, a 50, a 35. So they have kitten heels. They have sandals. They have sneakers. They have loafers. They have any type of flats. They, I mean, their Natalie flat is my favorite. Um, flat shoe. They, they, you just really can't go wrong with the Sarah Flint shoes. They're just a, a lifetime shoe. This is something that you're going to have in your wardrobe forever. They're very, very well made and very comfortable. So comfort shoes that don't look like comfort shoes are absolutely my happy place. Speaking of that, let me grab another pair. These are from seven or nine shoes. This is another brand I work with. These are th these are not all brands I work with. I just ha I happen to be blessed to have some great shoe brands. Um, but this is a brand of comfort shoes that just blew me away. So they're called seven or nine because of heel heights, but they come in all different heel heights and they actually have um, a sneaker insole. Like there's something in here, like it's springy and cushy and comfy. These are so beautiful. I love the tulip detail on the back. They're just the most beautiful and also very, very comfortable black pumps. And about slightly under half the price, I think, of the um, Sarah Flint pumps. So I'll put all of the links and all the information below, but I absolutely love these. I also got a pair of red pumps from them that I love. They also have those, those cute little like clips that you can attach to shoes to take them from day to evening. Um, and they have a wide range of styles. So absolutely love them. The final shoe style I want to talk about are my Allbirds Pipers, yet another brand that I've been blessed to work with. I love these. These are the other pair of shoes. I took three pairs of shoes. I took Espadrilles, I took the Vivaya Flats, and then I took these Allbirds Pipers as my fashion sneaker for my trip to Europe. They were so, so comfortable. They are like lighter than air. They're just super, super lightweight. They're very, very comfortable. They're wool. Um, uh, and, and breathable and just I, I just love them they also have they have wool pipers and I think they have tree ones so they, they, they have different fibers for different climates but I didn't I didn't feel like the wool ones were hot at all I just their, their original ones are wool it's very very breathable and very um, seasonless like all season and I, I really like these I think they're great simple um, unobtrusive like they don't they don't take away anything from an outfit they're simple they're clean they're a great fashion sneaker okay now let's continue with more accessories so I'm a I'm a jewelry girl I know I said I'm a shoe girl but I also really love jewelry and I've had a couple of you ask me about my wedding set so I just wanted to share this wedding set was made it looks vintage I love it it's dirty now it's almost always dirty almost always has hair products in it but it was made by Barmakian jewelers in Boston in the jewelry building that they have in downtown Boston uh, when my husband and I were engaged he knew that I would want him to propose with a ring but he also knew that I would want to pick my own ring so he was kind of in a bind and he bought a, an aquamarine like a birthstone ring at Marshall Fields in Chicago to propose with and then we chose this um, this setting and this ring and this stone. And it turns out that the stone that the ring that he picked, the aquamarine ring and this ring, are really quite similar. Um, I love it. I love that it's vintagey looking. Um, my wedding ring itself, the wedding band, uh, doesn't fit up against the stone, um, so it, they're soldered together, and it's kind of shaped to fit around it like kind of fits into like a little groove there so i love it because it's actually a very practical ring it doesn't catch on things 
knock on wood, the stone has never moved. We've been married over 22 years, um, 23 years, no, 22 years, 22 years. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Um, and it stays, it, you know, it just, it's very, very easy to wear. So that's my main favorite jewelry piece. I also have a diamond cross and um, little diamond stud earrings that I got when each of my girls were born. And those are very, very special to me as well. I don't wear them as much these days as I used to, but they're always, always special to me. And I do pull them out on occasion. Okay, let's talk about more jewelry. So you know my, two of my favorite brands. One of them is um, Gingerberry. I love Gingerberry. I will pop up their code. These are their Aphrodite earrings. These are 18 karat solid gold earrings and I am obsessed with these earrings. I love them so much. I wear them all the time. They're very, very comfortable. They're they're really lightweight. I, I can sleep, you know, obviously because they're solid gold, I can sleep in them, but they're also comfortable enough to sleep in, which is a big deal. And I just absolutely love them. I also love, they have these little pearl, three pearl earrings that I'm gonna pop up here that I think are the cutest. I love them so, so, so much and I wear them a lot. I, I alternate between those two, the, this and those pearl earrings a lot. Their quality is really, really good. Um, even the, the gold plated pieces, you don't have to worry about them turning. They, they, they keep their color um, and they're just really, really beautiful. I think my favorite gingerberry necklace though is the daisy necklace. I'm gonna pop up a picture here. It is so pretty. I've worn it in many, many videos. It's very, very delicate. It's got this layered like two necklace kind of look with this little pearl center. And I just think it's so pretty and so feminine. So that's absolutely my favorite of the um, daisy, uh, the gingerberry necklaces is the daisy necklace so far. So I love, love, love that one. I love gingerberry. I love working with them. Their jewelry is beautiful. My daughters and I all wear it and we all love it. So definitely definitely a big um, thumbs up on their jewelry. Another brand that I absolutely love is Dean Davidson. He has also become, I'm blessed that he's become a friend of mine. I'm going to show you one of my favorite necklaces from him. This is a statement necklace. I love, love, love this necklace. It is a moonstone. His jewelry is really, really good quality. This is a heavyweight chain necklace, very on trend for fall, but I love it. It's, it's also a classic. I wear it all the time. You can take um, the pendant off and wear it just as a chunky chain necklace or you can wear it with a pendant. I love, love, love this. He also has some bigger pendants where they're reversible and they've got like a different color on either side. Those are fabulous. I recommend all of his jewelry. I have several necklaces, several earrings. Um, my favorite earrings from him are these. You guys have seen me wear these over and over and over again. These are his Ipanema earrings. I love these. These are such a fun, they're like a statement earring, but also minimal and cool. I just absolutely love them. I think they're so, so fabulous. And they've got that moonstone again. Um, I think that's moonstone. And they actually have many Ipanema, many Ipanema earrings, that's a tongue twister, um, that are fabulous that he, um, he also has so if this size is too much for you there is a smaller size these are a matte gold but he has so many he has a new pave collection that's beautiful he has a new collection with like red stones or hot pink stones that's just stunning so and he has a brand new store in toronto so for those of you in canada i haven't had a chance to check it out yet and i'm so jealous so if you can check out the new store in toronto okay one last accessory thing i want to talk about it's a different kind of accessory this is um a u-clip from lilla rose um, i will put up the, the information here and I'll link it below. This is the best thing ever. I have a plain one and then I have this one that's a little bit more decorative. I actually use the plain one more, but what's awesome about this is I can just pull my hair up into a bun in two seconds, stick this in and it will stay forever through sleep, through whatever I do. It just stays. It just stays. I mean, it's amazing. Amazing. Just love it. So I, I was getting ready for Thanksgiving. I decided to paint a bathroom while I was gonna have people come over for Thanksgiving. I had a couple of days, the weather wasn't great, so I was kind of, we were kind of staying in the house and just kind of catching up on rest and everything. The girls were catching up on rest. I was getting ready for Thanksgiving. Anyway, I put my hair up in this and I'm not gonna lie, I kept it up for a couple of days, did not take it down, did not wash it, just kept it up like that while I got ready, while I painted everything. It just didn't budge and it doesn't give me a headache. It's just perfect. So I absolutely love this. Okay, now let's talk about beauty. Let's talk about beauty because I have some favorites. I try a lot of products. I've worked with some brands, but a lot of these are, most of these are just things that I use in my routine and I absolutely love. Now, the first one is CeraVe. I don't know, like this is the best stuff. 
this is the best stuff. It is always next to my bed. If anyone in the family has a sunburn, if anyone has dry skin, if my husband's, um, you know, skin is like itchy or dry, if my face feels dry, um, I use it on my lips. I use it under my eyes. I use it on my elbows and knees and like, I use it anywhere that feels dry. I keep it, like I said, I keep it next to my bed and I just apply it wherever I need it. So when I've done my skincare routine and all of the skincare products have absorbed into my skin, if I'm going to bed and I feel like my skin is a little dry, I think they call this slugging where you put a really rich moisturizer on top of your skincare and it's supposed to help your skincare penetrate better and work better. I don't know whether that actually does that or not, but I do know this hydrates beautifully. It also is not at all greasy. It's very rich and moisturizing without being greasy. I have combination skin. My skin isn't completely dry, so it really works for me and I just love it. It absorbs very quickly, very easily, does not leave a residue. I love it. So, and it's very, very gentle for anyone with sensitive skin. Okay. Another beauty fave is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I love this. My shade is medium tan. I have all varieties. I have the matte variety. I have this one is the glow, the, I don't know, illumination one. They, they have a couple of different versions of it. So the matte comes in a green tube. The illumination comes obviously in this tube. Um, medium tan is my shade. It is a perfect shade. This is the perfect full coverage foundation that applies like a moisturizer, has skin loving benefits in it. So it's like a serum and a foundation in one. I absolutely love it. This color is spot on perfect color for me. But what's great about this product is it gives that coverage without it looking like foundation. It really just looks like your skin and I love it. I, I love this. I think this tube is actually my daughter's because she uses the same one, my older daughter. Um, it's just a great product. It's just a great product. And when they go on Black Friday sale, I'll let you know because they have really, like last Black Friday, I bought a bunch of them. Um, it was a really good special. And then I got a free mascara or something, which is also amazing. Their mascara is fabulous. Okay, a couple more beauty products that I love. Um, I am actually a Rodan and Fields consultant. I use some, some of their products I've been using forever and I absolutely love them. Um, I don't mention it that often because it's not really relevant to fashion usually, but these products are two of my favorites. So um, this is the Brow Boost. And what I love about this is that even though I'm very brunette and I have always had very thick brows, like bushy brows, like I had to pluck and wax regularly. Now they're not as bushy as they used to be. I never thought that would happen to me because I always thought my brows were so full that I was just gonna skip over that. But it has, sadly, alas, it has happened. I have um, this brow boost in the dark brown color. I don't recommend black for anybody unless you, are, you have black, pitch black hair. Um, but this is um, basically, it's a brow gel and color and brow growth serum in one. It's amazing, it's amazing. If you use this regularly, I use it every day, your brows will grow in, they'll be thicker, they'll be fuller, and you're also applying your makeup at the same time. So it's a no-brainer for me. I absolutely love, love, love this product. The other boost that I love that I don't have to show you here because I think it's in my daughter's room is the Lash Boost. Lash Boost is amazing, amazing, amazing. It literally, within a few days, like I just bought a TikTok um, all natural, brow serum from TikTok for um, my daughter because she asked for it. It was $30, so it was not you know crazy expensive, but we, she's been using it for a few weeks. I haven't seen any change. If you're using Lash Boost for 10 days, you're gonna see a change. Just really, really, really makes a difference. So when I'm using my Lash Boost regularly, my lashes are awesome. And again, lashes are something I always had naturally. Like that was my thing. I always had good lashes and now, you know, they're, they're getting, they're getting thinner and the, and the lash boost absolutely brings it back. The other Rodan and Fields item that I love is the active hydration body cream. If you have really dry skin, especially going into winter on your body, um, this, I have friends that don't use anything but this body cream, even if they don't use any of the other Rodan and Fields products, because it is the most hydrating. It's like what you use on your face, that level of quality, but for your body and even the most stubborn dry skin, dry heels, dry legs, dry elbows um, are like magically restored with this cream. It is really, really a good, good body cream. I put it on every day after my bath. When I come out of my bath, I put that on and you can like 24 hours later, you still feel your skin like really, really moisturized. It's amazing. It just, it keeps your skin moist for a really long time. Okay, more beauty. Um, I've talked about this before. I have to share it because I'm so in love. This is the Lumi deodorant. Um, I love it. I have the Peony Rose. 
It is a it comes in a solid now. So if you tried the Lumi originally and you didn't like the cream format, this is a solid and it's just it applies just like a regular deodorant, but you get 72 hours of odor protection. I will tell you this stuff works. I never used to sweat until menopause, never used to sweat at all. And now I do sometimes and I just never get stinky if I use this. The other thing about it is that they they do have they have body washes, which I have not tried, but they do have cream uh deodorants in tubes you can put it on your feet you can put it anywhere where you feel like you might get some odor but i just love it i think it works really 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 well my daughters and i all use this feel very comfortable and good about them using a clean deodorant like this okay i'm almost there um merit cosmetics is a brand i've worked with i love them i love their whole um aesthetic i love everything about them it's minimalist beauty they have a five piece makeup kit that really is everything you need for a regular day my favorite thing for that makeup kit is this and their foundation stick but this is their flush balm it's a blush in a little balm like this you just dot it on and it just gives a sheer natural like gel blush would do but without the fussiness of gel blush sheer natural glow um it's very again it's very easy to apply it's spill proof it's not messy you don't need your brushes um with you you can just blend it in with your fingertips it comes in um i also like this color is mood but i also like raspberry beret they've got a, a i think cheeky is one of their colors they have got a couple of really really nice colors they're all sheer and natural so you really can't go wrong with any of their colors but i love 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 this blush it is absolutely my go-to Okay, I think this is my final beauty item. Oops. Yeah, I think this is my final beauty item. I lost the lid. I'll be right back. Here I am. Okay, this is the Magellan um, skin tightening device. It is a radio frequency device. Um, it has red and blue light. You just do this business for like five minutes in the morning and at night. I love it. When you use your devices, regularly when you're consistent with it you will see results and you will see an improvement in your skin and this has been really really a big improvement for me uh, my trouble area is this area my jawline and i've seen a, a major difference in this so there are a couple of different modes there's a mode that you can use around your eyes there's a mode that you can use all over your face and then there's a mode that's designed to be used almost like a stamper with a mask so the mask has different zones it's a sheet mask you put it on the mask has different zones and you just do this and it's it's really remarkable. It, it does make a difference. Your skin looks more glowy. It looks tighter. It looks fresher. Um, so I absolutely love Magellan. I do have a code for them, I believe. I'll, I'll pop the, that up and hopefully that still works. Oops, I forgot one more beauty product. This is not fancy. Aussie Three Minute Miracle. This is a game changer. I discovered this in college by accident. I was doing a deep conditioning treatment on my hair with this product. I bought it at the drugstore, Ecker Drugs, back in the day. And um, I put it in my hair and I put my hair up and then I woke up the next morning and my curls were perfect. And I was like, what, what? This is a drugstore, like easy and expensive product. I have been using it on and off ever since, mostly on, because it's the most predictable way that I can do my hair. I'm gonna do another updated hair video, but honestly, it has not changed that much since my previous hair video. I basically layer three conditioners on top. I use a detangling conditioner, then I use um, a hair mask, and then I use this at the end because um, it, out, it gives really good hold and definition to the curls. So um, for those of you who are like, you yeah, know, long curly hair is dated, if you don't have curly hair, it's really hard to understand curly hair, but I have two options for my hair. I can wear it very long, the way I've been wearing it. I've, I've tweaked it in the way that I part it and the way that I style it and, and maybe how long I have, I just added some new long layers. So to give my hair a little bit of fullness in the front, um, or I can wear it really short. Those are my two options. There is no in-between option. Um, and the third option, I guess, would be to straighten my hair, but I live in Florida and I like my hair curly, so it's gonna stay curly. So for those of you who feel like maybe curly hair is, is a little bit dated, I would say sometimes you just gotta embrace what God gave you. Okay, now let's move on to clothes. I only have a few things in this category because clothes are so broad and it's kind of hard to recommend just like one specific thing that I love, but, and I have a lot of them, but, 
I'm gonna start by saying um, I love my Paige Laurel Canyon jeans. These are the most, most flattering jeans. I love, love, love them. I'm looking for a new pair and a dark even wash without distressing for fall. That's what I wanna get for fall. These are a little bit dated. It's the silhouette though that I absolutely love and the fit that I absolutely love from Paige. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm gonna grab another pair this season because I love them so much and I find them so flattering and because the silhouette is very big for fall uh, 2023. Another thing I really like are my mother looker skinny crop jeans. Now I bought these in a size, I sized up in these um, by like two or three sizes. Some days they look tighter than others. Some days they look a little bit, they're bordering on a skinny a little bit, but they're more like um, a slim straight on me, which is what I wanted. I love these jeans. I love the wash. They are very, very comfortable. I love the fit. I get compliments on them every time I wear them. So I really think I'm going to do a separate denim video, but I really think that slim straight is, is, uh, is the new skinny and is a great replacement for those of us who used to wear skinny jeans all the time, which is most of us. Okay. Another thing I love is the Lily Silk uh, collaboration with Made in Melbourne or Mel in Melbourne. Mel in Melbourne, the reversible cami. I love, love, love this cami. I, lo I work with Lily Silk. You know, I love Lily Silk. I love a lot of their pieces, but this cami is, is probably one of my most reached for wardrobe essential pieces. I love it. It is reversible. It has that beautiful lace detail. It's very comfortable. It's very elegant. I think it's very, very flattering. It's just become a go-to in my wardrobe. So again, whenever I have a code, um, I will pop the code up here so that you can find it and shop for it easily. But Love that one from Lily Silk. It's something I go to a lot. Another thing I like is their, is their simple button-up silk blouse. I wear this all the time. I wear it with jeans. I wear it, um, you know, open over things. I just, I wear it a lot, a lot. And for those of you who think that silk is kind of hard to care for, I just put mine in a delicate bag, run it in the, in the washing machine on delicate, and I hang it to dry. It's really not a big deal. I'm not an ironer. I do not like fussy clothes. I don't have a lifestyle for fussy clothes. But that is just something that I love and have been wearing a lot. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is my Mott & Bow Willow Turtleneck Sweater. I love this sweater. I also love my Mott & Bow jeans, but I had to give props to this sweater because I don't talk about it often enough. It is the coziest, warmest, cushiest um, black turtleneck sweater. It's very elegant. It's very chic. It's very timeless. It fits beautifully. It's really, really nice quality, and I kind of feel like... A, turtle, a cozy turtleneck sweater is one of those things a lot of us are looking for for fall, so I wanted to tell you what my favorite one is. I absolutely love that one. Okay, another thing that has really become a go-to for me are my faux leather joggers and shorts. That's why I'm going to get a faux leather skirt for fall. You know, when you find that there's something really just is a wardrobe game changer, like you put it in your wardrobe and all of a sudden you've got like a million other outfits that you can come up with. That's how I felt about both of these items. And I love them both. I reach for them both. When I'm wearing something that's a little bit too classic or a little bit, uh, a little bit on the, like that I'm a little bit on the fence about, I put these leather pants with them and all of a sudden it looks like a different outfit. Now I'm looking at getting a different leather silhouette. I've had these joggers for a minute, um, a leather pants silhouette and a leather skirt, but I just love adding a little, a, a little touch of leather or a touch of denim to any classic piece can jazz it up a little bit or make it a little bit more modern. Okay. Um, the last thing I want to talk about, speaking of leather, is my jacket maker jacket. I love, love, love this jacket. Love this jacket. I love that I finally have a moto jacket that really fits me perfectly. It fits like it was couture made for me, and that's because it is. They offer real leather, high quality jackets that are custom made to you, but they're at the same price that you pay at Nordstrom or whatever. They're just a normal price. They're not crazy expensive. And so I love that. And for those of us who are hard to fit, who are petite or who have a fuller bust or whatever, I would absolutely recommend them. I think you will um, love, love, love the quality. They have about a million jackets to choose from. So I'm just gonna let you know, they have a million jackets to choose from. I'm gonna put, I think mine's called the Sally something. I, I'll put up the name up here so that you can see if you like my particular style, but if you don't like the style, there are a million others to choose from. So I hope, I think I covered everything. I don't think I left anything off. I hope that you enjoyed the, this this walk through my favorite accessories 
beauty products, um, clothes, shoes, all the things, jewelry, and um, enjoyed maybe discovering a couple of new favorites or things that you can try in your own wardrobe. So love you. I hope that this was helpful. I love to see you in my video. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so we can keep hanging out. And um, don't forget to comment below. Let me know if you're looking for anything specific, if you found a new favorite on this list, if you have any questions about any items I shared. Um, I will talk to you later. I'll see you in the next video.